What is up everyone? It is a drastic change in scenery from what you guys have been seeing in my last few videos. I am here in the North Georgia mountains for my first outing back home, hoping to see some vipers and any other snakes we can come across. It has been an unbelievably wet summer here. It is so lush and green and beautiful up here right now. It's amazing. Uh, hopefully it'll be productive for snakes too. We'll see. Either way, I'll keep you guys posted on how this adventure goes and hopefully there will be some snakes coming your way soon. All right, guys, I've got our first snake of the day. Actually, there's two right here. There's a copperhead right there, hanging out from under that ledge. You can barely see his scales, but out here in the open, we have a beautiful copperhead just sitting here. Look at that guy. That's a stunning snake. I'm gonna get a photo real quick. So there's copperhead number one that's fully visible. And over there up under that ledge, there are at least three more, but I'm gonna give you a better look at them in a second. But here's this guy one more time. All right, guys, so there's one copperhead right there. Two copperheads. Let's see. Three copperheads, and you see that third head there. There might be another head over there. So that's three under that rock, and then right outside that rock is, is that guy. So four copperheads total already. I just got here. All right, guys, next snake of the day, there is an eastern garter snake right here. Two of them, actually. You can barely see them. But I'm going to see if I can get my hands on them. This is a treat. Two big, healthy adult eastern garter snakes looking... Uh, like pretty freshly shed. Normally I find a lot of drab little babies up here. Awesome to see two big adults like this. Anyways, I'm gonna leave these two to it. Two garter snakes to add to the tally. Garter snakes are largely amphibian eaters, so it's not too surprising to see these two out basking. Probably getting ready to slurp up any amphibians that walk by. This girl actually looks gravid. Pretty cool. Check that out. This is a large and recently shed skin of the main thing I'm hoping to see today, timber rattlesnakes. There is garter snake number three, not too far past the first two. Just hanging out in the grass. He's actually in a good spot for a photo. Since I grabbed the other two, I'm gonna leave this one alone, but I think this one's probably another gravid female based on how big it is. Three garter snakes. <laughs> All right, guys, there we go. First timber rattlesnake of the day right here. And then right over here, there's two more copperheads. Heck yeah. Look at that. Beautiful timber rattlesnake to start the day. Hopefully this is not the only one we see, but if it is, it's a good one. Beautiful yellow and darker black there on the tail. Absolutely beautiful rattlesnake. I'm just gonna leave this snake alone. He's obviously unhappy with me since he's rattling, so I'm just gonna leave him right here. All right, another layer of mist blew in, so I'm gonna head up a little higher and uh, see if I can find areas that aren't literally just getting misted on constantly. It does feel good outside and the snakes seem to be enjoying it, but it is a little too wet where I have been, so. I had to stop and eat a sandwich. Still pretty misty up here, but it feels a little bit better. We'll see if anything's out. All right, guys, just found the first snake I've seen in a while. That, let's see, right there is copperhead number seven, I believe. There you go. Way back in there. Here's a couple more copperheads, and by a couple, I mean at least one, two, three, four, five, at least five, sitting right there. That's awesome. Look at that. So cool. And there's this one more right there. There's an adult Chattahoochee slimy. Look at this big guy. 
Just hanging out in this crevice. There's another one of these. Nice copperhead. Get my camera will focus on him. There we go. I think that's number 13 or something like that. Well, that's cool. Just flipped a timber <laughs> and my leg is at a safe distance, thankfully. Check that guy out. He's in shed, but that's a real nice looking snake. I'm gonna move him so I can put the rock back. Look at that. It's in shed and it's a little bit on the thin side. Possibly a female that already gave birth. Be weird for her to be in shed already though. Either way, I would kill to see that thing freshly shed. Look how dark it is. Beautiful second timber rattlesnake of the day. Look at this grump. Got a couple pictures and I'm just going to escort it back under its rock. I think this is a boy after all, after looking at it a little bit more, but definitely a little bit on the thin side either way. All right, buddy. There you go. And he knew where he was at. Sprayed musk all over me on his way in. To the other herpers who come to this spot, you know who you are? Seriously? You saw how easily I put that other rock back. It's not hard. What on earth? Look at this ring neck. Why is it red? What on earth? That is so cool. What are you doing, bud? And why are you orange? Are you gonna bite me? He's thinking about it. Hey, dude, you are sick. That is so cool. This is so cool. This is one of those things where I guess when you find a certain amount of a certain species of snake, it's only a matter of time before you find a weird one. And here's my weird one. So cool. First ring neck of the day, too, surprisingly. Look at that. So nuts. Well, that is really cool. I am completely satisfied with how today is gone, and I'm going to hit all the stuff that we hit on the way up, back to, on the way to the car again, and hopefully more snakes will be out, but this is going to be probably the last thing I see on this part of the mountain before I turn around and head back, but what a cool snake. Abnormally colored ringneck snake. Well, there is a toad, and if you look behind him, you can see timber rattlesnake number three for the day. That thing is not coming out of there. I'm not going to mess with it, but kind of cool to see him just hanging out with his toad friend. Here are two more copperheads and a timber. That's timber number four, copperheads like 14 and 15, I think. Let's see if I can focus on them. There we go. That's the timber right there. Can't believe they're in there and not out here sunning with how nice it is. All right, guys, just found another one of these guys. This one has that gray cheek look to it more so. It's almost solid black and gray. Doesn't really have much spotting. There's a little spotting there under the armpit, but that's it. Anyways, don't know what's going on with these guys, but really cool looking salamanders. So already last time we saw this guy, he was under that ledge and he's now coming out, I'm assuming to bask. There's a copperhead right here. Anyways, I'm about to head back through the stuff that I came up through, and hopefully there will be stuff out that wasn't out before, or different stuff entirely. We'll see. Alright, already we have a new garter snake right there that we haven't seen yet. And we've been to this area twice already. More or less. Let's see if I can get down to him. Get a better look. Get bit by a rattlesnake in the process. There we are. Good looking snake. Just hanging out. A lot of big, pretty garters today. At least pretty for the area. And these guys are all still kind of thinking about coming out. They're all wedged in there pretty nicely still though. This guy's got his head poking out. Anyways. I'm just going to leave them alone. Pretty cool. Look at those glowing eyeballs in there. That's awesome. 
I was starting to think not much had changed until I spotted this guy, and there is a very small, but not a baby, timber. That's probably a yearling or two-year-old right there. Let's get a better look at him. So unfortunately, this is a very unhealthy looking snake. Looks like it possibly has snake fungal disease. Pretty good candidate for it, given the blisters. But uh, really unfortunate, a little bit skinny too. I, he was kind of sitting there weird. I wasn't even sure if he was alive at first, but fifth timber of the day is kind of rough looking, unfortunately. I'm just gonna leave this guy alone and uh, go wipe my gear down. Another possible scenario is that these are just water blisters from how wet of a summer we've had. I mean, these snakes rely on these dry rock outcrops to reproduce for the most part. And uh, this one is very far from dry. But either way, kind of unfortunate. This guy seems to be in pretty rough shape, so I'm just going to leave him alone. So just in that little area, we found a timber that was not out only less than maybe an hour and a half beforehand. So I'm really hoping there's a couple areas down here closer to the car that uh, I was really expecting to have snakes and didn't on the first pass by so I've got about an hour hike ahead of me so I'm gonna get that done with and when I get there hopefully there will be snakes we haven't seen yet. I see a baby timber rattlesnake. Look at that. I don't know if that's a newborn or a yearling. It looks real big but there's a nice rock over there there might be more at. Let's get a better look. Look at that. That is my favorite snake of the day I think. Absolutely adorable a little timber rattlesnake just in this tiny little clearing in the forest little bitty rocks I've never found a timber here. I don't think I've ever even seen anything but garter snakes on this little rock That's crazy. Awesome. Awesome What a snake absolutely stunning juvenile timber rattlesnake Eight or nine out of ten easy and I do believe that's this year's baby. I mean, it's really weird size. I guess it could be a yearling, but really strange either way. Here are two more garter snakes. Look at that. Just hanging out. That's awesome. Two more of these guys for the list. It's raining on me now. I didn't get any footage of this guy last time because he dipped, but another garter snake right there. Oh, he's dipping again. <laughs> another one. I think that's number eight. That's a lot of garter snakes, and they're all adults. I double checked. This is actually number seven, but still, that's a lot of garter snakes for me. We don't see them in Georgia too often, except for here. There's usually a lot here, but not quite this many. All right, guys, I'm back at the original rock where we saw our first snakes of the day. There's this guy who's still hanging out. This guy, I guess, is retreating uh, because of the rain that's coming down right now. He was in the process of doing that before I walked up. But uh, there's actually a gigantic copperhead really well hidden right there. So that's a different snake than this one. I'm guessing that's these are all the ones that we saw that were just starting to come out earlier. I've been scanning for a while, and those are the only three I've seen. So... But anyways, uh, probably, you can see this, I think this is probably a gravid female. You can see her starting to go back under better. But anyways, pretty solid day. Oh, I do see another copperhead, actually, unless it's part of the same one. There's another one right there. And I don't think that's part of that snake because of how dark it is. Let's see if I can... Yep, different snake. I see the head. There you go, four copperheads out in the open for the most part. That one's leaving. Alrighty, it's completely starting to rain now. I'm gonna get back to the car before I get soaked. Um, I'm gonna check the weather though and see if the storm's gonna pass through. And if it does, I'll go hit another spot afterwards. Look at this man. A little dusky sal. Oh, he dipped. All right, guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video given the weather. The totals for the day were six timbers, 17 copperheads, uh, seven garter snakes, I believe, and one ringneck. Not the most diverse day, but I mean, can't complain about that many snakes, especially six timbers is a pretty solid day anywhere. So I'll take it. Anyways, this is probably going to be the end of this video. Hopefully you all enjoy and I'll see you in the next episode.